Hello, everybody, and welcome to the signups to the Risk 1v1 World Championships. This is a promotion for it. If you don't know, uh, 1v1 is probably one of the most basic, uh, knowledgeable ways of learning Risk, and probably the best way to start your Risk journey. Uh, if you've ever played in FFA, a lot like you'll 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 know a lot about how to play that i'm sure i'm sure most of you do play a lot of ffa but i'm gonna tell you right now 1v1 is where you need to go back to if you have not learned it it is the best way to start risk i will say that again yes anyways today we have olive xc with us uh helping us uh play and practice for the risk 1v1 tournament how's it going olive I'm doing good. Thank you so much for inviting me, JJ. Oh, no problem, man. He is a two-time world championship uh, winner uh, of what we won. Three times. Three times. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, two of them, and I got third place in the second one. Oh, my goodness. This guy. This guy is just shattering this tournament. You were probably the king of this tournament then, huh? Uh, officially, I'm ranked second all time. Second? All time? Railways, when we started the rankings, he placed top three in the third, fourth, and fifth tournaments. The one tournament I did poorly in and only scored about ninth. Uh, no, actually 15th or so. And, and then maybe only get second all time officially. Oh, man. I think you deserve number one. He hasn't played in a while. He's he's just, I guess the 1v1 has been like, it has, when's the last time the 1v1 was? It was like 2022. Right? The last 1v1? Uh, 2022 with what the last 1v1 championship tournament yeah it was last year last oh my year, goodness like in the fall, winter. it's been a long time since we've seen it so they're probably gonna bring it back with a big uh above so anyways let's get started we are in usa playing world dom manual because that is the best way to play 1v1s the most skillful way to play 1v1s yep to give a bit of context we use manual setup because if there's auto set up, it creates a large amount of luck with how the initial territories are laid up. We use fog, so player one cannot predict where player two is hiding their stack easily. We use blizzards to increase pathing and the dynamic nature uh, of the maps. Because he and chose... certain maps, we incorporate portals. For blood... And the reason why... Uh, these maps are really good um is because there are a total of 39 territories i will have 20 jj will have 19 i will get plus six troops on turn one and jj at a minimum uh will be getting uh plus six if, so it's a very even between uh, both players it's going to be close for this one He's probably gonna have the lead. These blizzards are insane. <laughs> like, I feel like, geez, that's yeah, giving you a one point hold. Yes. Do give a slight edge uh, to player one, which is um, Olive. And this is because with Blizzard in the upper right hand corner um, of the board, uh, I can potentially hold the New York area and and the, and the plus one New England area with a one border guard, and that's gonna cause JJ uh, a little bit of problems. If oh yes, there. it's gonna be very very interesting <laughs> oh boy so i like that he took georgia right there like since the right hand side is important i'm taking a lot of that early love your pick in north dakota i probably should have got it a bit earlier i haven't done 1v1s in a while me either i don't blame this, you this is, this is your <laughs> best map right I, uh this is my best map but you'll probably beat me you're going first so uh i wouldn't say that yet oh one. yeah Can oh yeah uh, don't don't lie all this don't map. lie you're going first oh shoot okay I want you to take either Oklahoma or Arizona there. That's an example of a forcing pick of mm -hmm. what's uh, going on. Yep. Well, you would have made me choose if I didn't, so. Yep. Yeah, 
but overall, this is very solid from you. So one of my favorite picks is I uh, is Utah, and I'm kind of salty that you took it already. <laughs> yes, because it's, it's a very disconnected area. Oh yeah, it's of the, of that bonus are very it's connected. probably one of my favorite picks, and you just you you snuck it from me. I was like, frick, freaking frick you olive man. Oh. <laughs> okay. I like my initial picks. I think I probably instead of taking Florida, I should have taken North Dakota. I think that's like my only kind of like mistake. I'm much stronger on capitals than we than I am on world domination because sometimes I don't make like the best picks. But I do a good job uh, when it comes to I think post game play. In the United States, it tends to go like a little bit deeper because of the evenness and nature uh, of these uh, boards. I'm lining these up a lot better for you. Interesting. Okay, you're lining that up well. Mm-hmm. You guys, Olive gets the last pick here. So there's an yeah. obvious place where I have to let him pick last. I have no choice but to do it like that. And that gives you a slight advantage. In some ways, yes. In other ways, no. So ultimately, I place most of my stuff on the left-hand side because the right-hand side is uh, where everything is at. Did not like that one. Olive's gonna like this one. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. And now I want to try to take over a large number of territories uh, on the board to limit JJ's uh, troop bonus that he receives. You have several areas that you can hide on the left hand side of the board, but as I force you to take Tennessee and Illinois, you don't have access to the right side. You sure about that? Oh, look at that. You guessed that one fairly yeah. well. Well done. I am also live. Are you sure you're not cheating, Olive? <laughs> I, don't need to beat you. I know, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <sighs> yep and then you're 17 so I can attack one more right here put you on 25 so you'll 20, be getting 25 what uh, sorry you'll be on 25 I'm on 25 territories you're going to be on 14 yes there you go yes so let's see uh oh, time. So now I. That just gives you a straight line. I might as well split it while I can. Oh, I messed that up. Oh no. Uh, oh, I you thought. <laughs> you, you thought, Olive. Oh no. Uh, oh no. Uh, no! Oh. 
Oh, but that was so unlikely. But now you're 17, can attack and break a lot. And still leave you trapped. Uh -huh. I'm such a noob. Such a noob, Olive. One second. I don't think I need to hit that. Let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, that's a mistake. No, I know. I know. But I think well, I think I'll be just here. fine. No, you don't want to hit my three? Oh uh, no. <laughs> I know. I know you know that. You definitely don't want that. I Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Here we go. This is where the luck comes down. Yeah, so now I need to break both bonuses. I don't need to break both. Yeah, so that's about 63%. Oh, that's right there one fail. Ah, uh, what? Yeah, oh, you're rigging this. There. You're rigging this, Olive. Oh, uh, well, good game. Uh, I think I think I made the the uh almost correct move. <laughs> almost, almost correct move. I thought getting you down one more extra territory or one more troop might have helped, but oh well. You were on 22 and I was in 17. I was already getting like the minimum number. Your goal was to prevent me from accessing the other yes. side so you can maintain a bonus uh, yes. for a move. Here you're on 12, so I need to attack one more to get you down. Oh, I, you already win. You already have, the balance is already over when you got 10. So, good game. Yes, but still just following best practice. That is really unlucky. <laughs> Holy moly. Right now. Wow. Yeah. And then here I would just practice some good passing in order to uh, take over as much of the board as I can. Then I would make this a three. This is six. And this should may hopefully allow me to get this. I think I put a little too much up top. Oh, shoot. And there we go. Perfect passing. Wow. That wow. The, the 2v1. Progressive 7%. 1v1 teaches you about that passing and, and, and basically how to use your mechanics to your advantage right there. Well done, Olive. All right. So what map would you think we should do next? France? Brazil. Brazil? Oh, Brazil caps. I do not have it. You want to make it? You don't, you don't have the map? Nope. Nope. Don't you like make... Aren't you like a Twitch streamer? Don't no, like no, I'm Isn't not. Like, like I don't Twitch job? stream. You buy the maps? I don't have a. I don't have the map. Sorry, I don't. I really don't. What the oh, hell, dude. JJ? I know. I know. Yeah, uh, since I won the last two uh, Risk One v One tournaments, I basically used um, all my gems that I got to buy all of the emotes, as well as all the maps, as well as all the maps on an alt account. Well, I wish I could even make a final to make or to get any gems from those tournaments. <laughs> like, jeez. Oh boy. Yep. So I set up the game. All right, I'm in. Here we go. This is a good one. I, I've played uh, champion ever so many times on this. And yes. every time I've slow rolled his cap and won. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's so funny. Yes. What's great about um, Capitals is it's more post game play and it's very math focused. As of any time after turn three, you can try to roll down the opponent's capital. And you have yes. to know the odds of an attack of when it's successful to do so. You're first again. This is rigged. <laughs> well, what happened? Well, in the tournament, both first and second will be going uh, equally between both players. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, it's very interesting blizzards. I will go here. Yep, you go for Mato Grosso. Why so Sula. serious? Why so serious? Oh, that's what they always Why say. Why so serious? <laughs> Cerberus snipe. Yep. Right. 
Sorry, what was that? You took Rondonia. If you notice, a Mappa up top that was only connected to Para. Oh, yeah, it's a corner. I missed that. Yes. I couldn't hear you because my chat is being too wild. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, JJ. Um, Aleph, yes. Why did you do that? Oh, did you go first? Oh, boy. <laughs> so you don't give somebody a continent because I didn't that see that just at gives all. me a decisive edge. Yes, you have the decisive edge. I do not. I did not see that at all. Oh boy. Yeah, guys. Jesus, sh man. Shut up. Shut up, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you like, make the semifinals of like the Risk 1v1 tournament last season? I, do, do, I you you not know happened. Happened. do you not know, know what happened? Do you not know? Continents. Do you not know what happened in the semifinals when you I made lost? that? I I got swept by General by Bale. Bale. Yes. Do you think I, I deserve to be there, Olive? Come on. Come on, man. Yes, because you made the semifinal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Bunch of tough decisions for me of what to pick. Mm hmm. Cam, don't Damn. please. Don't do that. I'm going to turn it off now. <laughs> Your chat's being an annoying. No, they, they're they talking about playing the 007, and I can't do that right now. No. Nah. Guys. Wait, Goldeneye? Uh, no, it's the Redeem where it blasts the freaking 007 to the loudest peak of possible. But then I have to I have to mute it because it's a the DMCA. Oh, you got DMCA'd before? Oh, for it, yeah, yeah of course. It's all it's like almost every every video. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. That not... editing must be so annoying. Oh yeah. Oh, ho, 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 shoot. Missed an opportunity. Yeah. No, I think I'm uh, you win. fine, though. No, you win. It's game. This is 100% yeah, This is hundred percent game. You win. Um, yeah. All I'm like uh, going to do now. The one point hold. Yeah. This is in the main server, yeah. Oh, you took that bonus. Ooh. That's annoying. Yeah, and that was a mistake by you. Sure about that. You sure? I think so. I mean, let's see. You're getting a plus three and a plus four. I'm getting a plus six. Yeah. <laughs> it's really interesting. I mean, I think you're like, here's the thing now here, right? So oh, I'm going to yeah. I'm going to get the attacker's advantage. Then Good I'm going to start rolling this down. I know, but that's a close game, is I? Like, come on. Well, oh we both got boy! Sixes on that one. That's funny. Th yeah, I know. <laughs> I planned this coming in. I was like, I know this is gonna happen. Oh man. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting bad dice. So oh no, Olive. Oh no. Oh shoot. 
Yeah. All right, so maybe you do take this then. Yeah, unfortunately, I had bad dice. Maybe I think there was one point looking at the rolls. It was like a uh, 12v12. Oh, wow, interesting. You're just going back. Oh, yeah, there's there's no point. I got to risk the rolls on that. Yeah, I'm getting very bad manual <laughs> dice. Like, normally, it should be a little bit better than this. Get the freaking dead. <laughs> if I can get one more, I'll stop, but no. Yep. Dice is bad. Very interesting scenario uh, that we're in right now. Okay, interesting. So now you're trying to do a full hard lock on me. Yeah. But I'm not, uh, because you can peak. get... You're going to double tap. You sure? Oh, it was yeah, close. It was... That wasn't 100%, but it was close. Yeah. It was more than 50% or 66%. Oh, well. So explain what's going on there. Yes. I risked that. Um, yes, JJ was being a little bit too aggressive. He wasn't considering his cap safety. I That's was. I'm noticing as a weakness of you when you're playing. You I always, was. You always, I think, take very aggressive, creative plays. But when it comes to like this, the very core mechanics, sometimes you just do silly stuff. Hey, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a risky play, and I went for it. Okay, Olive? I did. There was a I mean, chance you could have failed. Had, like, what on, on your cap there? There was a chance you could have failed. You saw, you only took off four with that 18. Just saying. It's possible. All right. But you always have to play the odds more often than not. <laughs> kind of aggressively taking a card and pass. Yeah, okay. All right, Speedster. Yeah, we get it. All right. Um, Simple World? Sure. Is that what you have up right now? No. Okay, someone else holds that up. Okay. Uh, uh, Sterling. Sterling. Looks like he's doing some practice with some people. Yeah. Right. Anyways... Yes. Let's do a new in. map that has not that will be in the tournament, but has not been done before. Oh, with the newer maps. Yes. Okay. Do you have dicey trajectories. I do not. You want to set it up for us? You're gonna do World Dom, right? I'm assuming. Yes, it's World Dom. Like, have you considered like? Yes. Uh, that map. Yeah. Shit? Right when I played it, I was like, "This is 100% a one v one map. 100%. I agree." I would love to play that. I played it against Mallory. She guessed my stack perfectly in, in one. It was just ridiculous. Yep, so this is All set right. up. Here we go. This is one of the newer maps that we're going to be doing on this tournament. Because while we have standards, we like to throw in new maps, so players are always kept on their toes. What makes a good 1v1 map? Well, depends on the, the map size. If you have a map that's way too big, the first person will get so many troops in the first turn just because of territory count that they win. On average, at least. So, you definitely want to have a smaller map on average most of the time. But not too yeah. small, because so if it's too small, you're definitely pick. gonna need you're definitely gonna need uh, capitals. Otherwise, the game just ends on someone rolling the stacks first turn, and that's more luck based. But it is in favor of the first person. Like playing Iceland World Dom, yeah, that's that's completely luck based. Yep. Then I take this spot because then I would. So I, I have not played this map very much. That's a mistake. Portals. Yeah, I get it. Yep. So I'm just. I I honestly I I'm, I'm, I'm just right now I'm doing yeah. forcing picks uh, with you. Yeah, because the spot that you took right there, I just take this one. It's equal. In terms of pathing so you did not make me do a forcing pick there that makes sense okay okay uh i'm looking around so that, for that one spot's not bad but the right hand side of the board generally is not very impactful especially from the blizzards okay. this spot's better this one. oh man uh this is my second or third time playing this map so yes Okay, yep. Cam. I, that's that's also great. Also looking again at the smallest uh, maps <laughs> uh, and the smallest bonuses. Uh, wormhole is smaller than dark systems, therefore I take the best spot here. I, nice. Well, 
Frick. <laughs> Frick. <laughs> I'll go there instead. Frick you. Yes, that is good. Then I would start taking advantage of the best spots like here in the corner. Well, I'm going to take advantage of that one. Even yes, though it's... that's definitely a good one. Is it though? Is it? <laughs> I would say it's uh, pretty solid um, as a whole. So that's some of the basic ones. Then I would probably... Hmm... What may so I'm thinking about what's the best <laughs> I probably would take here because I'm trying I'm trying to connect you more around the map. Oh my god. Right now everyone... I got a nice mine going for myself and everyone... I may take advantage of a couple of portals. I'm gonna take advantage so what I like of about that. this is that we are relying more on our raw skill rather than <laughs> just memorizing. <laughs> because when you do a map like very new, it comes down to practice and really understanding the odds uh, with what is going on. Okay, well, I understand the odds, and my odds are forever not in my favor with you being first every game. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, so I am just continuing to place things more and more here in the corner. I do have to take that one. Then I would just take more stuff here. Then I will just take more stuff here. Yeah. Ah, that was one mistake. I should have taken Meteor Cove. I, I missed that one. Okay. Yes, So that's on you me. did. You did miss that one, I'm Olive. I'm still learning this map, too. I can't as, believe this, uh, Olive. You should have tell. gotten that territory. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm bursting your bubble. No. No. Oh, like you I want said, me to burst like, your bubble? The then frick you, Olive. Frick you, man. And that's, it just goes to show you... Because, like, Pete actually had a video on his Fixed Friday. He said he's not competing in the Risk 1v1 tournament because he feels he can't improve anymore or get better uh, at the game. Wow. And I felt kind of sexy. I feel like to I everyone feel... watching who's like afraid about trying something new, because this is more of a niche game mode. Like when I won the tournament, I got it was one of my most successful videos ever. It was just 2,000 views, right? Like yes. Like free for all. Yes, it's is a big what deal. Is, uh, more popular settings wise. Oh, yeah, for sure. Free for all is definitely the more popular one. I agree. No one wants to watch you pick, pick manual picks. <laughs> like nobody cares about that. Oh, shoot. Yeah, so it take so that's why it takes a lot of editing, and most YouTubers in this scene do not do a lot of editing. I I could honestly, I think I might post these videos, but I'm going to probably speed up every single manual pick as fast as I can, because nobody cares about these manual picks at all. Um, what you could just do is done. just uh, do a basic cutting technique, where basically, on the last pick, you just like um. You cut back to the video and say, "This is what I'm, what, how the picks went. This is what I'm going to pick and go for." Okay. I think I'm ready. I'm ready. But are you ready to rumble? No. I'm not ready to rumble. I'm ready to get rumbled. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh boy. I think I'm pretty fricked here. So um, I'm just going to give it to you real quick. Good game. going to give you the handshake. It's nice playing with you. <laughs> it's not over yet. I still think you're fine. There's still a lot um, that you can do. So I, I purposely place in like the upper right hand side to give myself a little bit more flexibility. You have three out of the four portals. That makes things a little bit tough on you. 
Yeah, you're going first, so it's basically over. Honestly, yeah. Yeet! You placed on a portal, that's insane. Yeah, I did. Because I had to. I had no choice, and you have to open me to get me territory down. Oh no. Well, that does not matter uh, too much, because all that I need to do is I can just attack here like this. Break. I can go up here. Attack. I can leave about nine here. I think that's a good total. Then I just attack twice. And then finally, I move into the portal spot here, giving myself access. You get seven, but you have to win an 89, which is around 40%. Maybe which is very possible. And you know, JJ Bro can do it. Just yeah, wait. I know. But oh my God. I play the odds. Yeah. The odds play me. Oh, darn it. <laughs> oh, I rolled a six. Oh, jeez. No. No, you cheater. Yeah, and now since I'm guaranteed to be holding the plus four bonus for myself. Oh my God. Stop. It's not 89%. Those can fail. Obviously, yes. <laughs> I also have very easy access to break. Yeah, so you hold that bonus. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, okay, we get it. We get it. We get it. All right, all right. So you do own the majority of the board. However, now I am able to attack back. So all I need to do now is go into the portal. Good game. Good game, Olive. Yep, and then hit <laughs> this spot. <laughs> Lose five. Lose five, please. Oh, man. <laughs> yep, and then I just go pop, 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 pop. Yep. So this should be fine. I'm going to keep my slider on at five to avoid any significant slider mistakes. Whoops, nearly hit the off slider. So I just take my time. Oh, you got plenty of time. I'm using all of my 60 seconds when attacking. I don't know if you think I'm bringing out your stuff. My 3v1 Fine. percentage is more like 50%, my chat says. <laughs> oh my god. And then I just block your three. Dude, I... If you're only getting three troops, that will be GG. You're at 1, 2, 3, 4, Are 5, you 6, sure 7, about 8, that? 9, 10, 10, 11 territories. Are you sure about that? Because there's 39 on this are map. You sh are you sure? I can break you. Get bricked! Olive, I can do this! Oh my god, if I do this. Oh my god, Olive. Dude, I'm telling you. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh frick. It, was, it was so close. Olive, I would have, I would have been so funny if I did that. I would have been so funny. I still would have gotten eight troops. The balance of the game would have still been broken. Oh, uh, whatever. Balance of blah blah blah. Freaking balance. <laughs> that would have been great if I won. Oh shoot. Hey, that's my territory. A oh, frick. Somehow he beats me every time before three cards. Every time. <laughs> we know you'd have to set on three. Yeah. But... Oh man, I missed the 3v3. Darn it. Yep, and then all I place that there, and then I go pop, pop, pop. All the world in 3v1, that's not necessary. What? <laughs> no, he rolls it because it doesn't matter anymore. He can't afford to take the risk. That makes sense. All right. It was just better passing and everything there. All right, GG. <laughs> GG, man. Uh, do you want to try one more? Or are we, are you uh, good? I'm fine. I, I haven't uh, like another like uh, 15, 20 minutes. I'll do another world dom map. You can pick one more. And how about this? We pick a map and we'll only play if I go second. 
I think your audience wants to see you win one. I want to give you the best chance to win. All right, let's go. Uh... King Dynasty zombies. Or are we not doing zombies in this tournament? No zombies this tournament because um, of the zombie glitch. Oh, the zombie glitch. Freaking frick that. Um, what's another one we can do? Britannia is a little eh. We no, Britannia go... is leads to stalemates. We can't pick that is not we in the can tournament. Do... Supermax. I love to do okay. Supermax. That would be great. Supermax portals it is. I do need that's a map. With I need portals? To... Yeah, so... Well do you have Supermax? I do, but you said with portals? Yes. What? It's very different in the way that it's played because with with regular Supermax, uh, what ends up happening is uh, whoops, I accidentally made that a ranked game, so I'm leaving that immediately to protect my rank. Wait, why is this? Okay, here we go. Here's casual. Yeah, so it's Supermax portals. <laughs> Uh, beca because uh, it, it just makes the game very different. So I have the game set up. Oh, I was making it, but okay, cool. I'm getting there. Interesting. I've never played with portals ever. It was done in five aside for one week in the season. Basically, with practice, we, we've learned that portals makes it a lot more dynamic. Super Max is one of the, the most well known 1v1 maps. It's kind of a game of prediction. But at the very highest levels, if people play optimally, the best that player two can do and can normally try to just like to force like a stack hit by player one. So Yay. portals makes it much more dynamic. I'm first, finally. Yeah, after so years. Please win this. Please win this? Oh I will. All of you know I will. Yep. Reasonable. Correct. Oh, I know. Man. You you don't have to tell me. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh yeah, you know what you're doing, man. And I would take this. Yeah, well, I'm gonna take that. Noise. Noise. Why did do 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 do. All right, so you took the arm there. That's good. I take this arm because it's not a portal. Well, I like arms. They're nice. Hey, man, whatever floats your boat, I don't judge. Whatever floats the goat. Now I'm just confused, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. QL, thank you for quoting me. That's so great. <laughs> my god Kim they're enjoying this a little bit too much <laughs> this the duo of us playing together <laughs> they're enjoying it too much yeah it's like I just want you to win one so your audience thinks up thinking that you suck because oh, you they, are, you are they, very good they player already I can't know. Wait to see what you do in the upcoming tournament they already know because I've, I've failed a, a, a getting sweeped before so I'm sure they already know Oh my god, Kim. <laughs> this is where it gets a little bit tough. This is where I'm uh, trying to learn a bit more about like what's the right play. So I think this is best. You what? This is, I think, my weakest map. In really? The pool, and this is the one I'll be practicing the most. Really? That's interesting. Yes, I've never been... Uh, Yeah, like, like me, like like everyone, uh, not like infallible. Uh, I am prone to like a weakness, uh, like anybody else uh, that plays. So, I just try my best, do what I do, and I'm always looking to continue improving. If I anyone who's looking to join the tournament, find someone to practice with often that's like around your skill level or better, and they will help you improve tremendously. Oh yes.
You picked a portal. Interesting. That one was not strategically important. Yes, and then you took one portal. You also know what? interesting. Yes, I did, Olive, because that one was not strategically important. <laughs> <laughs> so fun playing with you, man. <laughs> What's the value of the middle bonus? You want to know? It's a plus nine. You don't hold that unless you're like in the end game. I've seen some people hold it just because people are just stubborn, but it doesn't happen. Yeah, if you own admin and that's your strategy to win the 1v1, like you're not going to win. <laughs> that would be so funny. Oh, shoot. Someone puts their stack in one of the bonuses on accident. Oh, man. Oh, man. Very good, JJ. Very good. You forced, uh... Yep, forced you to choose. Interesting pick, must I say, huh? Mm-hmm. So JJ made one mistake here. You should be on your last on your second on your last territory you're selecting. You should think about what you want to do so you can execute immediately. He's already used up half his turn time or thinking about what to do. Well, I know what to do, Olive. That's a mistake. You're a mistake. Honestly, I have no you idea. Two dice to attack. Yep, then you put it all there. Yes. That was a blunder. Guys, I don't know how. This is with portals, bro. It's so much more complicated. I'm not freaking tryharding right now. Oh my goodness. This is like a brand new setting for me, honestly. I never play this map without freaking portals. Now I'm using a technique where I use two dice. Oh no. Uh-oh. The freaking 3v1 didn't work out for you this time, Olive. Yes, this was unlucky. But it <laughs> But I have a slightly I have slightly bigger bonus than you. Oh. You can do a 14 v 16, but you still have to break my other bonus first. I don't have to break Olive. That's the thing. I think so you're the 14 forgetting. 14 v 16 is below 50 percent, which would give me better chance to win. I don't think you're getting it, Olive. I don't have to win. Um, yes, you do, because you've lost every game, and if your audience sees you failing this much, they'll make oh, fun no. of you. Oh no. Oh no, a risky roll. Oh frick. I'm so tempted to take it. <laughs> I am so Good, tempted. That would not work. Oh, come on. Okay, Why that not? Just to hit you. That's a, that's a losing move. Well, you're a losing move. That makes no sense. You make no sense. Other way the stakes right here because what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to hit I'm not going to then take this <laughs> hold this down then access the portal this way you're gonna love
love this. Yeah, this is 100% roll. And now you're on 25. And now you have to break three bonuses, and I'm getting more troops than you. D7 or 8D7. 56. Risky boy! Oh, come on. Oh, I missed it. Forgot about that guy. Here we go, Olive. Here we go. Let's see it. Yep. But now, uh, all I do is I just go in, I break. Oh my I god, roll. what? That's rigged. That is I rigged. To, I hear the two Bro. dice technique I was telling you about. Bro, oh, that's that's, that's crazy. You lost three on an eight. You lost three on an eight, bro. What? That, that they just want you to win the game. It's just it's now it's big number of troops. Bro. Bro, yeah. dude. I'm lucky to have a set here. So you should win then. That was oh. a mistake. You should have used your eleven. You sure that's a mistake? Are you sure? Are you sure? So you do get the set here. This does give you a slight advantage. So one turn to begin extra troops. I don't have the set on three. That will put me behind a tiny bit, but it is, once I get the set, unless it, if I get a set on four, I, sh I might be able to still take this. You have to leave the troops there. So I think my play is, I do have to break. Hmm. So I think I place everything in the line. I attack. And that way I can use the two to potentially get some extra territory. Then I attack one more. Yep, and now you have to break. I make this open so you can't do a 2v1. You only get five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have a multiple 11, of three 12, of 21. 13, 14, Take 15, one more. 16, 17, 18. Nice. Oh, frick you. You should have just done the 3v1. No, I freaking know what I freaking should have done. Freaking frick! I didn't need to do that, but I wanted to anyway, so frick you, Olive. <laughs> yeah, I have notes that on four. Very oh, unlucky, boy. These things happen. You probably still win, honestly. Well, if you have a set on three and I don't, you can still end up taking it. So it's a very even last game here. So it looks like when you go first and me second, it's even. When I go first and you second, it's domination station. Ooh, lost two. I would have attacked ones. Because when you attack a two, you increase your variance. Cool. You're gonna so win. So I'm gonna be getting six. Oh yeah, you win. I mean, it's over. The next trade in. Okay, so now I'm also gonna check to see where I get the bonuses for my cards. 
Okay, looks like I have it on low security gate, so I should take my bonus there if possible. Yes. Nice. Now I get the extra trade in for myself. And I just place everything down here. You can still win this if you have a set on three and I don't have a set, but. You think a two's gonna stop me, Olive? You think that's it? You think that's all that's gonna stop me? A two? Just wait. Just wait, man. That was okay, rude. Okay, now have the minimum number of troops. You're about to have the minimum number of troops, Olive. Ooh, you have the set on three. Fisky boy! Fisky boy! Very nice. Oh. Beautiful pathing by you. See how portals make this a lot more dynamic? Dude, I lost one on every territory. What? Oh, this is this is rigged. It's all for Olive, man. It's all for Olive. This game, this game wants to pay Olive, man. Yeah, yeah. okay. Alright. Well, oh, good game. Ugh. I tried. I tried to beat Olive, guys. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Frick. Everything's against me. Oh, man. And then I'll use two dice technique here. You don't lose two dice technique enough. Like, come on. Yeah, I got some bad luck with these dice. No, you don't lose it enough. Uh, I lose it about... Normally it works. But in any case, <laughs> normally, <I> know... <laughs> Normally? Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, he held a bonus. Rick. Mm-hmm. Let's see. 11. Okay, I can't end the game. Nope. You're not ending the game today. Or yet, at least. Yeah. But no. overall, I had a lot of fun doing this, man. You yeah, are... I'm sure. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you had fun. Frick you. No, I'm glad people can see the tournament. There's a big skill element to this. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. So guys, if you want to join the tournament, feel free to do so. There's a grandmaster tournament as well as a a casual tournament. All competing in the GM one. Oh boy. Anything else you'd like to say, JJ? Frick you. <laughs> Frick you. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Frick you. I really enjoyed this, JJ. You're an excellent person in the community. Oh my god. I love collaborating. Why are you, you so calm about this? Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Oh man. I'm I'm overreacting. <laughs> oh well. Thank you guys all for right. watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Just so you know, if you are coming into the tournament, anyone can join. It is not for just grandmasters it is for everyone because you will not be playing me i promise you unless you do very well in the early stages of the tournament you will not have a chance to play me so what i'm trying to say there is that you don't you when you join the tournament you are going to be playing people of your uh your elo which is probably around like i'd say 1100 would you say olive incorrect well how much it's changing. You'll find out when, when the rules okay, are released. Okay, it's completely different. I'm just... I, I don't know. I can't tell you anything, apparently. Because I don't know anything. A, 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 unleashed on my... Incorrect! Day. Sorry, guys. We got it. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining, Olive. It was fun. Um. So... Yeah. It was really fun, JJ. And sorry I was being a little harsh on you. No, it's okay. My chat loved it. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad everybody liked it. Feel free to check me out on YouTube as well on Risk Grandmaster Olive XC. Uh, 
I don't do as many videos or as cool videos as JJ. His European cat videos are like the best thing ever. But I have my own style. So if you like quick risk videos of 15 to 20 minutes, I'm your guy. All right. Thank, Thank you, Olive. And I'll see you guys, guys later. later. Peace. See ya.